Hi, today we will go through some of the common side effects of tetracyclines. Tetracyclines are broad spectrum antibiotics. That is, they are active against a wide range of gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Tetracyclines are bacteriostatic drugs and they act by inhibiting bacterial protein synthesis. The tetracyclines commonly available are tetracycline, doxycycline, demeclocycline and minocycline. Let us now go through the various side effects. The mnemonic by which we can easily remember the various side effects is GLP or GPLK dive where GLP may refer to anything such as a good long preparation so that once Mr. K gets a GLP he can then dive. Let us now see how this mnemonic fits. The first letter G stands for gastrointestinal toxicity. All tetracyclines can cause direct GI irritation on oral use leading to nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain etc. They may also cause esophageal ulcers if the contents of the capsule release in the esophagus during swallowing. Also, high concentration of tetracyclines in the bowel may cause disruption of intestinal microflora that may result in suppression of coliforms and overgrowth of pseudomonas, proteas, candida, etc. This may rarely cause pseudomembranous colitis. Next is the letter P. P stands for Photosensitivity. A sunburn like skin reaction can occur with the use of tetracyclines. Demeclocycline has the highest chance of causing photosensitivity, while doxycycline also causes photosensitivity to a large extent. Next is the letter L. L stands for liver damage. Tetracyclines can impair liver function, especially during pregnancy, in patients with pre existing liver disease, and if High doses are given intravenously. High doses may also precipitate acute hepatic necrosis. Then we have the letter K. K stands for kidney damage. It occurs mostly in pre-existing kidney disease. All tetracyclines except doxycycline accumulate and increase renal failure. Next is the letter D. D stands for dental and bone defects. Tetracyclines have chelating property. Hence, the calcium tetracycline complex gets deposited in the developing teeth and bone. So, if given during mid-pregnancy to 5 months of age of the child, it may result in brown discoloration of temporary teeth. And if given from a few months of life to 5 years of age of the child, it may cause discoloration of permanent teeth. Tetracyclines may also cause suppression of bone growth. Next, we have the letter I. I stands for Diabetes Insipidus. The highest incidence of Diabetes Insipidus is with Demeclocycline. Demeclocycline antagonizes ADH action and decreases urine concentrating ability. Next comes the letter V. V stands for Vestibular Dysfunction. The highest incidence of Vestibular Dysfunction is with Minocycline. This may result in vestibular symptoms such as ataxia, vertigo, nystagmus, dizziness, etc. The vestibular symptoms occur soon after the initial dose and usually disappear within 24 to 48 hours after stopping the drug. Last, we have the letter E. We can remember E as expired drug causes Fanconi syndrome. Fanconi syndrome, which is characterized by nausea, vomiting, polyuria, polydipsia, proteinuria, etc has been observed in patients taking outdated and degraded tetracyclines. It probably occurs due to the toxic effects of degradation products on the proximal convoluted tubules. Therefore, outdated tetracyclines should never be given to the patients. So, if we observe the highest incidence of photosensitivity and diabetes insipidus is with demeclocycline and the highest incidence of vestibular dysfunction is with minocycline. Thanks for watching. If you find this beneficial, please share and if you have not subscribed yet, please do. Thank you.